Hello, good day. I'm Oliver from Oliver Hobby. Here, that's our Oliver Hobby customized Roman line 960G actuator with huge double pumps. So now let's see disassemble all to see inside structure and how to make maintenance here. So first, the rear side counterweight block remove, loose, take out, and this top cover from side only have one screw left, one screw right. Remove, yeah, it's uh, at uh, under there, this position. Then this cover you can directly lift up. After that, here from left side, this box that's the smoking sound unit. So first remove top these two screw. Then this cover you can remove. Then from the bottom here we have two more screw here for securing it to the bottom plate. Lose these two screw. This one you can remove. So all this plug. You can remain it to the receiver, pull out together or unplug it. You just take your notebook, take photos to record where it was original. So now for this box on top, here have two screw, yeah? remove it. This receiver top cover, you can remove it. Now check from top. So from top, this position, we have two more big screws, this left and the right for securing this electronic box to the bottom. Already I removed the screw, so you will see that's the two screw position inside here. Remove this box, you can remove it aside. So here, that's all the power connection for, for the rotation motor, for the sleeper ring of two driver motor, and the lights, positive and negative control. So you just take photos, make the sequence one by one where it was originally connected, yeah. After, now you disassemble, when you assemble back, same position, it's quick connection, yeah. Wires push in and pushing up, that's locked. Unlock, so all these wires you push in, lock it, that's all quick connection for the wires. So now this one already removed. Yeah, every step, you just take your notebook, take photos, remember where it was original position, yeah. Now, we are coming to this main part. That's the heart. Hydraulic system, well block, pump, connection block for the hydraulic system, yeah. So before you disassemble this, take your syringe, suck out, suction out all the oil in the tank, yeah, because after you disassemble, the oil will flow out. So you first suction out all the oil inside, make it empty. Now, we are coming to here. So three well block, one, two, three, and this number three inside is that one, yeah, it's uh, in the middle have a black connection, but all these one, two, three, four part, middle black connection part, it's all secured by these four long screw to this black middle connection block. So this four screw we remove, then we can take out all this well block. That's very long one. So that's how it's secured to this black middle connection part for connection well block and for connection the two oil pumps. So one by one, we will remove one. I already lose there, yeah? so easier, quicker to show you. So now take out all. After this, remove inside remaining oil will all come out. So you put tissue paper under there, easier cleaning. Now this one already removed, so it, the hose is giving tension, so I need to push a little bit. Then this one I can directly pull out. And number four, long screw. Take it out. Okay, in position and push, pulling it out. So all this well block is remote, so between well block, inside, in between, yeah, two channel, in and out, main channel, have all your seals here. When you're assembling, please check, they are in position. And now this one also out, so that's the oil seal to the middle black connection part. Also here, have oil seal, one here, one I will push inside this middle connection part, so two oil seals in between. Also, now this one I will remove. So pushing, bending it to this side. Now, here, middle connection block, this one, that's 
two screw holding here. So this two screw remember the position, yeah? So that's the oil channel, in and out, main oil channel. And here, that's another oil channel from here. This hole for oil channel is coming from the forward pump, then going in and come out from this hole. That's power oil supply to this two wheel block for front arm and bucket. And here you will see inside this position well block at the right side, this one. That's for the big arm supply oil by this rear side pump. So here this side, this return line, this one. Return line it is going through. So that's return line for both three, three well. This is inlet for the big arm. That's the inlet for the front arm and the bucket. So this one now, let's remove it, already removed. And now we will come in to see the pressure well block. So this two pressure well forward, that's for the uh, front arm and bucket pressure adjusting. This rear side is for the big arm pressure, rear pump pressure adjusting. So only two screw. One is here, remove it. And also this one, it's all big long screw to secure it, yeah. After remove, we will see that's three channel. One hole, two, three. So two forward as this pump in, rear as this pump in, middle, that's pressure, open pressure well, oil return to oil tank from the middle hole. Now we come into the middle main connection, since the alloy block for connection well block and the pump block. So the pump, it's secured to this block by this two screw for rear side. Big arm pump, yeah? Here this screw is special, it's a round one, because it's near the oil channel. So remove, take out. And also this one remove, take out. That's for secure rear side pump. But now, they are together with motor pump connection here have one more block. So two pump need to be removed same time. So forward pump, secure by this two screw, yeah. Take out the two screw. That's for securing these two for securing forward pump. Take it out. After this, all take out. All these wires already removed, yeah. These wires was connecting to here, quick connection. Unlock, pushing down. And bottom already connecting to the two pump ESC. So the sequence also, you take photos. Which one for the forward pump, which one for the rear pump. Make note, take photos. Okay, so before we remove this pump assembly, here are three screws securing, securing this black part for the middle connection of the pump and model. So three screws, remove, yeah? Three short one, remove. Then the pump assembly we can lift up. Lift up directly because four screws already removed. So take out, we will see how is the pump assembly. So this side for connection, rear pump, forward pump, yeah. Two screw, middle that's the oil outlet supply, middle oil supply. And also I removed these four fan here. This four fan. I removed these wires was going from here to the main connection power supply. So I just remove, you can see more clearly. And now let's see the pump. So this middle connection block at this side for pump connection, the oil channel is in the middle, but inside the oil channel coming out from this side, it's not in the middle, yeah? That's the middle for pump. But here, out light from this side, that's the oil discharge. And this one for rear side, oil discharge from the pump. Oh, yeah, it's coming from here. That's the pump connection, but discharging from this one and this one for the rear and the forward pump. So that's the pump seal with this block. So now let's disassemble the motor to the pump, to the middle connection block. So we will disassemble only one. Let's see, these two with nuts, that's securing this whole set for the pump. These two with the iron key, screw that's securing the 
pump head to the middle connection block. So this to remove, we will be able to remove the pump from this black part. And you remove this one, the pump head, pump body, it is still secured by these two one whole unit. So now the pump we can remove. That's here the motor connection for the pump shaft, turn it. This one, that's the seal outside one round. Seal with this inside one circle, one round, that's the seal. And here in the middle of the shaft, that's the shaft seal. This is all industrial level, yeah. These two pumps are oil flow as one liter per meter, so huge power, yeah. And here for the motor, it's assembling to this middle block with these two screws, left and right here. So we remove these two screws, we will be able to take out the motor. So it's all smart design for easier maintenance. All the middle connection are thick metal, so they are very strong. You see the size of this brushless motor. It's giving a lot of power, yeah? and now we are using less than half of this power. So you can imagine with the good ESC and these big, huge, good motors and industrial pumps, they will not easily get broken because it's only less than half the load. So for three valves, three servo, if you need to change the servo, only each one four screws, yeah? You remove, the servo can be disconnected quickly. So four screw removed, this one can directly pull out. You will see it's a square connection to the valve block. So this square one is with tools inside for the servo shaft to be binding together. This one is a steel one. And let's see the well block. So this two screw holding the servo frame to the well block and the well turning this shaft is connection with this one part of the piston inside with this square connection. So now I will remove to see inside. So two screw remove, this is the servo frame remove. You will see that's the smart design of the curved steel valve. So these two are same, yeah, but only Here's nozzle connection directly on top. This is also on top, but this one got because a splitter, yeah, because for the big arm have two cylinders, so one more splitter. So I, if I remove this big screw here, I will remove this one. So top, that's the splitter, one to two. That's in and out, or your channel go inside for splitting to four holes. That's in and out, yeah. And if you will change in direction, another one will be in and out. So now I will open to see inside the valve how it is. That's the top in and out, yeah. That's the servo shaft connection here. This end, four screws removed, already losing it. Then we can open the cover. Okay, turn around. Four screw removed, pull out. That's the cover seal, yeah. And here, middle curve. Piston, one more step to remove it, one more screw here. To stop the piston inside to turn free, use the island key, then I can unscrew this screw. So then I can see inside the piston shape. The screw has been removed. So now the piston inside for rotation, open channel, you can push it out. Yeah, so that's out. You will see inside the channel, yeah. So this side have one O-ring. And this side no O-ring, yeah, because it's sealed by this O-ring and the cover. That's the piston. So you will see I will clean the oil. Okay, now you can see clearly, so the piston should be inside. At this position to compare the oil channel, that's the main oil supply inlet, that's the return line. So inlet in the middle, inside this block here, have one oil channel inside. So if I turn it around, you will see in the middle, here has three hole. 
In the middle, it's connecting from this side, connecting with the inlet channel, go to the valve. So now we will see also at this side, yeah, also three hole here. Middle that's connecting to this side. From this side, see is left side return line. So this side middle inlet, this side middle inside have one hole for return line. So let's reverse to see this valve inside should be this position. So inlet always connecting here is always open and leading to another valve. Return line always leading to the return line here all the way through, yeah, so always leading to all the well blocks. So imagine you can connect two, three, five well together in and out, it's always connected. Only in the middle, inside this hole, when this block inside piston small turning, now it's all closed. Imagine the hole is this screwdriver, it's here, it's not open. When the well piston turning to this hole position, V shape, now already slightly open. The oil slowly go inside. The V shape turning and open more, more oil going inside and more, more. Now, until now, this hole is directly with this slot. So all the oil channel now is open. That's the fastest speed. So when you slowly close, it's slowly speed down, slowing down, slowing down until this V shape not to the hole, all the channel now is closed. So from this side, turning, all you're going slowly in. And if we turn it to other side, I will turn around. Other side is vertical, yeah? we have four V-shape. So if we turn it from this side, see, that's vertical to top. Middle, that's the return line, yeah? Middle, that's the return line inside the hole. So when you turn it, yeah, here, Bottom, the return line, re imagine this screw driver, that's the return line hole in the middle. So the return line, when you turn it now in the middle, vertical middle, return line closed, inlet also closed. So when inlet slowly open, here the V-shape to return line is also slightly open, oil slightly return. That's how it's working. So you will see this side corresponding vertically yeah, 180 degrees is corresponding to this return line. So when turning reverse, this side, another way, yeah, is corresponding to this V shape. So they are 180 degrees is uh, corresponding to open and close for inlet and the return line. So that's the V shape design. Slowly open the oil inlet and also return line, V-shape, turning another way, slowly open the return line. That's how you control, so the oil go to the cylinder, slowly speed up, so you can control with a even cheap radio. The speed, you can slowly increase. That's the smart design of the V-shape, curve open the valve channel.